So it has come to my attention that while I frequently mention and recommend Saturn Rising, um, I actually didn't do a review of the book. Um, this is one of the ones that I got probably two years ago, and at the time I ended up selling it and recently got another copy. So it's, it's kind of in the forefront of my mind at the moment. But uh, this is Saturn Rising, as I mentioned, by J.T. Kirkbride, uh, Ian Sophia Press, and this is one of their, I would say, kind of one of their older books. It is discontinued, and there is no paperback version at this time. And yeah, 2015. Uh, this right here is actually the second edition. The first edition is a purple cloth cover. And this one is obviously black. Um, <clears throat> the book that I reviewed yesterday is also from Ian Sophia Press, present day. And I think looking back at it, aside from Sermons to the Serpent Servants and The Order of the Skeleton Key, uh, this book is probably why I gave the other book a chance. Um, as you can see, it breaks it down into theory, practice, and rituals. Um, this book is pretty much almost all text. Lots of good information, very little if any redundancy. It gives you good backstory, and um, just it's it's just very very well written, and it flows wonderfully. And it really gets into what the what is death. You know, we, we all know on the surface what it is, but what is there beyond it, beyond the clinical death? The seven-year cycle um, talks about every seven years. There's a great change within each of us. And it takes Saturn uh, seven years, or just a little bit over seven years to fully, or sorry, 29.7 years, that's what it was. 29.7 years to go around the sun. Um, so every time it does that or it reaches a section of that time, that's when we go through a change in our lives, starting from when we were born at seven years, 14, 21, and so on. Um, not so much that it stops once you reach 29 or 30 years old, but it starts over going through those cycles again for a second time. And that's something that the author attests to, that's something that I, um, believe in as well from my experiences and honestly if you read the breakdown of it I'm sure you can find moments in your life where at those seven year marks different things happened based on what was written in this in this text or at least can be related to what happened in this text uh, the signs of the zodiac uh, sigils of the zodiac I should say with a Saturn twist. You can see how the symbols are implemented. So there's Libra and then it's got the sigil of Saturn. The sigil of Saturn is a piece of each of these and combined with these symbols. And then it talks about the Sabbatic Goat, Baphomet, Goat of Mendez, some of the history there. And Let's see, well, again, just a lot of really good, really good writing throughout this book. I'm gonna try to show you some of the, uh, some of the rituals. Yeah, here we go. So, construction of ritual tools. It goes through and talks about each one the dagger, the wand, sickle, the bell, uh, cauldron, candles, tarot cards. I like that he includes those. And they mentioned other miscellaneous tools that would be good to have. And then your four corners or your watchtowers. 
and some information about the hours and the times when you would perform these rituals incantations, incense, what to expect, and then the actual rites of Saturn. And then we can see the, the square that, or the triangle, I should say, that he uses. So, yeah, this this book, again, I've I've mentioned it in other uh, other areas of my accounts and with comments to other people and, and messages. There's not a whole lot of really substantial and good information about Saturn. Saturn rising is probably the best one at the moment. Gives you that history. Gives you the full understanding of who Saturn is, why you would want to work with him, and then some rituals and additional information to get you started. Um, again, Cold to the Black Cube, I, I keep saying it, but the third edition just came out. Looks like it's selling out quick, again, for the third time. <laughs> so definitely get a copy if you can, um, and keep an eye out for a secondhand copy of Saturn Rising. If Saturn is of interest to you, this is something you will not want to miss. So thanks for watching and have a good one.